Member North Vancouver Lonsdale. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. During the most difficult weeks of the coronavirus induced state of emergency in British Columbia, a person would have been forgiven for curling up into a ball and hiding in the closet. Things were looking grim, and life as we knew it had been taken apart at the seams. And yet, all across the North Shore, the community instead chose to rise up and tackle the challenge together. Mr. Speaker, I am so proud of the way that North Vancouver came together and closed ranks against COVID-19, and some among us really stepped out in front to find extra special ways to contribute. ZenMaker Lab in North Vancouver offers innovative science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics, or STEAM, programs for kids, youth, and adults. But when COVID-19 hit, they could no longer teach people in their labs anymore. So they quickly retooled, turning their teaching lab into a manufacturing shop. Their staff, normally engaged in teaching young people to be innovative and creative with science, themselves began to prototype, design, and produce innovatively designed personal protective equipment, printing them on their workshop filled with 3D printers and donating reusable face shields to local hospitals. James Lester runs a distillery in North Vancouver called the Sons of Vancouver. He immediately recognized that a shortage of hand sanitizer in North Vancouver was affecting care facilities and first responders and reached out to my office in March to offer his services. Along with some quick footwork by the Attorney General to allow distilleries to produce sanitation-grade alcohol, Sons of Vancouver was not just producing hand sanitizer, but giving it away for free to members of the public and organizations across the region. They also partnered with local grocers to sell bottles of hand sanitizer to raise money for Lionsgate Hospital. The best part of it all? They also sell vodka. Honourable Speaker, these are two of just, just two of countless examples, countless stories of people who have been stepping up to help their neighbours in North Vancouver and across British Columbia. I hope that the House will join me in once again thanking them all for their leadership. Thank you.